Hello all and uh, welcome to another uh, episode where I will discuss the questions of the uh, prelims exam of MCS uh, 2021. Uh, in the first uh, video I have already discussed the first 10 questions if you have not seen I will leave the li link in the description please go and watch that and uh, let us begin with the uh, question number 11 to question number 20. Question number 11 is a direct question on this uh, who is the basically author of this book uh, relating to this medieval times. These kind of questions are uh, fairly common where uh, important books especially in terms of our history and uh, uh, Indian literature there are many questions where just the title of the book is given and uh, you have to uh, mark the uh, author as the correct option. Now, of course, these books are important and one more point uh, here I want to mention is that this medieval and ancient times are, uh, of history are important in the sense also that you have to know who all were the travelers who came all the way from uh, other parts of the world and they have written their own books with their experiences, what they have seen in India. So these kind of uh, books, these treatises, they become very, very important, uh, not just uh, uh, of course for the exam purpose but for your knowledge sake also and there is a lot of uh, interesting points and observations made by these authors so please revise them carefully question number 12 is about Ravindranath Tagore and his contributions these kind of questions are fairly common where they give certain statements about certain famous uh, personalities and uh, you have to uh, see which one are uh, correct and which are incorrect. So in this case, uh, his contributions towards the our uh, Indian national struggle and his contributions towards literature are extremely important. And there are so many other personalities uh, which also whose contribution you should know because in these kind of MCQs, MCQ questions, uh, these kind of contributions are fairly common from our history. Question number 13 is about social change. So those who have read sociology uh, will know this concept in detail, but just for analysis sake, it is uh, by common simple observation also you can uh, solve this question. And uh, you can see that uh, social change is universal. The first option is obviously correct. Social change is everywhere, but it is just the rate of that social change happening uh, is different in different countries is faster in some countries it's faster maybe in the first world it's slower in the third world all these things are there but statement number one will be absolutely correct statement three also is obviously correct because it will have different consequences in different places so one and three are definitely correct now if you have read sociology you must have read this thing that social change is sometimes uh, in uh, sometimes you know planned and mostly unplanned so that is the general uh, observation regarding social change so as per me the answer should be uh, b where one and three are correct only of course there can be different interpretations but uh, mostly answer will be b question number 14 is about the powers of uh, our indian president and the governor of the state these kind of these kind of questions from Indian polity are fairly common where they compare some powers uh, to the other where they compare different kind of institutions and offices so read Indian polity uh, in nice way because uh, out of 100 they are always like in UPSC also around 10-15 questions straight from the Indian polity so this is a very simple analysis and uh, shouldn't be any issue for you to solve this problem. The president has uh, of course the power to pardon, he has diplomatic powers and he has also the power to declare emergency. So that will be the answer. Question number 15 is again uh, from the history and uh, it is more of a war technology from the history question. And these kind of significant changes in the historical times are very, very important. If you see the history, there are so many years and so many centuries, but there are certain years where certain development of uh, high significance happened and they totally changed the future. So one such development was this where uh, just in some crude words, if you see this technology matchlock to flintlock, 
So basically, match lock was the ancient uh, gun, uh, technology used in guns to fire, and then in, uh, an improvised version was splint lock. So here, the answer will be uh, D. Question number 16 is again from history and uh, as I said, years are uh, of relevance and you should know in which year what significant uh, development happened and based on that, uh, these kind of questions obviously can come. Uh, but uh, in your answers also in framing your answers, you should know the chronology of uh, events which have happened so that you can frame a good answer. So in this case, uh, if you look at the option D, uh, that happened in 1947, so that will be your answer here. Question number 17 is from environment. Uh, as I have said now and again, that environment is very, very important part of the whole syllabus. And uh, this is a straight question asking about what exactly uh, is this unit of uh, carbon credit. So here the answer will be one ton of CO2. And uh, in terms of environment, there are uh, peculiar terms, for example, like the certified emission reduction. And similarly, there are so many jargons that are there these days used in environmental studies. So all those things you have to be aware of because uh, environment is becoming more and more important and questions on carbon footprint and uh, trading, carbon credit, etc, etc are expected. Question number 18 is from uh, general science and hopefully you have read it in your uh, school days and uh, if you remember ionizing radiations are those basically who are when it strikes on something it uh, tends to remove the electrons because of high energy. So in this case the answer which is not ionizing uh, radiation it will be infrared uh, radiations and uh, it is a direct question if you know the radiation spectrum uh, then it should be easy to solve and uh, related questions uh, you have to study optics and radiation electromagnetic radiation in detail whenever you revise from your NCRT because questions are mostly uh, when it comes from science it touches upon these aspects question number 19 is about our state emblem and uh, we must know all these facts that from where it was adopted and uh, in the ancient history also it was used uh, before and it was the adopt adoption of that. The only thing uh, in this question which is not correct is the date of adoption. It happened later after the, sometime after the independence. So the answer here will be all other, all are correct except this date of uh, adoption. But uh, you can relate here that a uh, lot of questions are coming from history and their current significance. Basically those concepts in history who ha which have contemporary relevance are uh, much favorites and you should uh, know everything in detail about such concepts. Question number 20 is about triage. Now th this word became popular recently uh, when the COVID waves were there and hospitals were doing this kind of triage at right at the uh, uh, entrance of the hospitals. Now this is a basic concept where there is a mass casualty. Let's suppose there is an accident and then there is a small hospital which cannot uh, address so many uh, patients at once but suddenly 100 people come injured because of the accident. So now how do you deal with all such cases because you have limited uh, doctors, you have limited staff, you have limited equipment. So you have to do triage and as common sense will tell you that you have to treat the most uh, uh, critically ill first and then those others in different categories, uh, they, those people can be treated later and uh, that is what triage is, is. So in this case the answer will be B but uh, now because of this uh, whole COVID uh, scenario all these terms questions may come on all these terms what is uh, PSA plant, oxygen plant, what is a quarantine, what is a variant of concern and all those things. So all these words you have to uh, learn them and understand them and read about them online. So that was it. Uh, uh, this was the 20th question and uh, the remaining uh, next 10 questions will take up in the next video. If you have not subscribed the channel till now, please do and uh, like the video as it reaches more people. And uh, the whole purpose of this uh, video series is to help our youth. So I'll be really happy if it reaches uh, everyone who is in need of this kind of analysis. Thank you for watching.